Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. With the new release of the Vampires of the Soul Blight Grave Lords, we decided to make a tutorial on how to paint vampire skin. We hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin. Step one is to coat your skin with Rackard Flesh. I did a few thin layers not to lose details. The second step is to add a thin down Druchi Violet, one to five part with Lamian Medium. So it's a very thin purple, and it is not meant to do more than to influence the skin tone with some purple shade. After this we're going to render the arm and bring out the muscles. You use the same technique all around the model. For this I mix the Rackarth flesh with Pallid Witch flesh and Scale 75 Moonray flesh. The latter used to bring out a bit more pinkish flesh to the mix. The reason I'm adding it to the grey skin tone is to give it a remnant of what his former humanoid skin color was. I then add a bit more Moonray flesh and Pallid Witch flesh into the mix for another brighter highlight. After this, I add one more of the same purple shade mix to push the shadows a little bit more. It's now time to add a bit more color into the skin. For this I'm using the Wog Flesh and some Blue Glaze. So I add a thin Wog Flesh Glaze to the shadow areas below the muscles. I then add some Blue Glaze to harder shadow areas. And by harder shadow areas I mean the places where you want to add more dark and push the contrast a bit more. Such as armpits, close to the vambrays, and a bit more also where I deem it to look good to add it. Here you can see for example how I'm adding the color under the arm. The next step is to add a Caribou Crimson Glaze, about one to one part with Lamia Medium, onto places where you would normally see a little bit of heat on yourself, such as knuckles and elbows, nose, cheeks, around the eyes, etc. By adding these colors, you help to give the skin some more interest in life. Well, undead life in this case. After the Crimson Glaze has dried, we want to go back in and bring out the muscles a bit more. So as you can see, I add highlights, then push shadows, then bring out more highlights again, and you can push and pull this as much as you need to. Now, there's always a place where you can overwork a model. But I think by doing this, it really helps you as a painter to look and learn to see better the outcome of certain actions that you consciously make instead of just follow what others do. And in return, this will help you become a better artist. And that's it. We hope you liked this tutorial and that it inspired you to paint tons of bloodthirsty vampires for your armies and warbands. This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donate to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over there and pledge a subscription. We post some longer videos from time to time for more in-depth videos when we have extra material to spare. You can also contribute by shopping some at Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise, which you can find on our website and a link down in the description. Intro video was created by Robbie Shillstone, editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer, sculpt we used was Gorath the Enforcer from Games Workshop Warhammer Underworlds. Please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons, thank you so much for watching and happy painting.